Hello YouTube, uh, Crusaders Bricks, and today we're going to review the American um, Easy A M4A3 Sherman tank. I emphasized American because I guess uh, when I upload when I uploaded this before, I accidentally said German for some reason. No idea, but anyway, let's get out, that out of the way. It's an American tank. Whew. All right, here's what it comes with. It comes with the certificate of authenticity. That's what it looks like. Um, also comes with these instructions, which if it's a black box edition, which I am happy that this is, it comes with the or with this instruction book, which is like a premium um, instruction book. It's actually like Lego, but in my opinion, I think it's better. It's more sturdy, less rippable. Um, also, this first page it has all the facts. Um, it's like a facts page. It says all the like what it did, like where it was, when it was stationed, how many were made, all that stuff. Um, also, this is like the picture of the model itself. Whew. All right, this, I don't know if you guys can see, but in my lighting, I don't think it looks that good, but I think this looks amazing, like in person. Um, basically, it is really zoomed in, which I actually like because... Sometimes you just don't know where it is because the picture is zoomed out, but this is zoomed in. So I had no problem building this. This was a super fun build, super nice, super easy to follow. Whew. Anyway, so that's what it looks like. I think it looks great, so that's my opinion. Alright, another thing that it comes with is the or this figure, which is just amazing. Also, I said no uh, minifigs. Because you have a choice of to add one, two, three, or four, but I just said no. So that had the original price, which was two hundred ninety-five dollars, but it comes with this minifig, even though I said no tankers. So that's kind of cool. You automatically get one. If that is what you're wondering. I want this to focus. There we go. So that is the torso. What it looks like printed, of course. Uh, this is the arm insignia, which. If I'm correct, it is the first or third tank division. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but please comment below which one it is. If it's one of those, or if it's something completely different. So then there's the back. So comes with this figure, mini fig. Anyway, so let's just get this one thing down. You're all wondering. Yes. Whoops. I'm going to put this back on. Yes, this has suspension. Now, if you guys don't know what the suspension is, zoom back in here. Basically, um, I'm going to try to do this with my hands. I actually have a demonstration. See how it like bends and stuff? That's what it is. Now, let's say I got a box here. Let's just roll this tank right over. That's basically what it is. Um, it ma it makes it so that um, your model doesn't like can not only go straight but actually go and bend and like it like a real tank basically would. So if you guys are into photography or you're on Flickr and want to make an awesome cool looking picture, that is what you need basically to make that cool looking real life suspension on a picture. That's just that will be a great picture. So anyway, if you guys are into suspension, I think it's really cool. It's a great feature on this tank. I would even get it if you're into that stuff. So, all right. So that's the side. This is what it looks like here, which I'll pick up here. This is what it looks like. That's what the wheels um, look like. This, the star insignia for the Americans is actually printed. It's not decaled. It's not stickers. It's printed on. So if you guys love that stuff like I do, you're going to be happy with this kit because that's printed. And I think printed insignias look just amazing. So, all right. Let's get on with the front. So the, well, not really. Let's just go on the turret. So the turret itself uh, can go 360 degrees like you can see. Um, also, you have this thing here, which can act as a 
like kind of like a gun rest or a barrel resting like when you're um, not in a combat zone that's what that's for so you just put that there also you have the lights uh, I'm gonna bring this forward here so you can see there we go so you got the lights here which can go up and down as you can see whoops I broke something oh, that's right so as you can see you can go up and down the lights can go up and down also it comes or not comes with but has a machine gun port for the 30 caliber machine gun which comes with the black flex tube to put in there but I actually modded a brick arms 30 cal and put it in there just for that little bit more realism or realistic uh, feature there we go also uh, here's the whoops all my pieces are falling off here's the I'm trying to fix this here's the other side which is basically exactly the same also here's okay so here's the back the engine right here actually doesn't open like the M4 A376 Sherman does uh, but it's, it's still okay. I actually think it's a really, really cool design on how he did it. But anyway, it has like the tools, pickaxe, shovel, axe. Um, I don't know why, but this can go up and down. So I don't know what this is for, but yeah. And that's what the back bottom looks like. All right. All my pieces are falling off. All right. So then this is the same side. Now we've done a complete 360 degree um, review of the tank. So let's see. Whoops, I bumped my camera trying to fix this. All right, so this is kind of like a modular tank. So all you do is just take off the turret and then you go in the back here and you just hold on to this and you take off the top. So there is no, in whoops, there is no interior detail. Uh, you guys are not into that. Or, no, sorry, if you are into that, like, um, then that is a bummer. There is no interior, interior detail. But for me, if it's there, that's great. But if it's not, that's okay. I like interior detail, but I don't mind if there isn't. Because that means that the kit itself is cheaper. So I prefer, <laughs> I prefer that, honestly. But you can probably make your own interior detail if you wanted to. But that's up to you. So what you do is... It's like modular, like I said, you just put it in place and you just snap it in both or all four corners and you're ready to roll out. So that's basically how this tank works. All right, now let's just actually review the turret itself. Um, this um, porthole, or I don't know. This one is a little bit hard to get open it can open but it's a little bit hard to get open there we go so this actually opens and you can fit a minifig right here and as you can see this one opens as well all you have to do is just put it back in where it is there we go and you just open it back up so right here has the 30 cal i'm gonna focus it has a 30 cal which swivels which I think looks really nice it's a very amazing feature so this swivels and this has a 50 cal which is awesome let's put this back it's a nice feature and mainly for realism because you actually can't put a minifig right here unless you have like some box or something but other than that I think it's just for looks there we go and the good thing about this is for I know I know for sure for this um, placement for the minifig, you actually can put it on studs. Like you actually can place the minifig. It's not just dangling around, if you know what I mean. So anyway guys, oh also, totally forgot. These front like hatches open as well. If you want to put minifigs in there. Whew, there you go. So thank you guys. For watching this video oh man i'm just getting ahead of myself i actually have another thing to this so if you guys are wondering if 
this tank is a monster huge tank it actually is a decent size because i'm going to compare with the m4a3 sherman and as you know most shermans or not if not all have the same exact like body so lengthwise it is completely the same literally it is completely the same lengthwise with probably a little bit a little bit wider i think um, for them for a3 but it's honestly the same same size same everything so if you guys are wondering if this tank is just way bigger than the m4 a3 it's not it's completely the same so you have not like it's not a problem to put this in a mock at all it's great size it fits well it's amazing so thank you guys for watching this video like comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i'll try to have more um, reviews and other videos as well in the future so thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in the next one